It was in China that the idea was polished in his mind, like a pearl in the sea. The dream had been there all along, born somewhere back in the shadowed hills of Kentucky. But this was China, the other side of the earth, ancient, powerful, alien, unknowable. Here a billion souls live and would die, their lives unknown to us at all. What a terrible loss. A billion strangers will pass by our lives, and we don't know their names, or what they fear, or dream, or to whom they entrust their prayers. The man's name is Stan Cottrell, a world-renowned ultra-distant runner, and he ran across the storied landscapes of China, and he wondered about strangers. There is something in the human personality that fears what it does not understand. We perceive danger in the unfamiliar. It is true with nations, and it is true with people. But what if we could diminish the distance that divides one human heart from another, the runner asked the cloud watch deals. What if we could look into the eyes of the strangers in our world and find in their lives something powerfully in common with our own? Couldn't we then break down the walls that divide one human being from another, one nation from another? Couldn't we create a stone in the mosaic of peace whether that peace resides in the heart of the individual or in the policy of a nation. Stan Cottrell's dream was an organization called Friendship Sports. China was a testing ground for the concepts on which this highly unusual Christian outreach mission is based. There's no place in the world more foreign to most people than China. Our cultures are so different. Our politics are on opposite ends of the political spectrum. Over all the centuries, we have been either strangers or enemies, and quite often I find those two things are synonymous. So I thought if I could establish friendships here, get to know them as people, maybe it would grow and spread. And maybe, eventually, I could reach them and touch their lives with what I know about Jesus. For this is the ultimate thing we have in common, our brotherhood under God the Father. The experiment was extraordinarily successful. People in vast numbers came out to watch this gifted athlete run through their towns and villages. They crowded round to talk with him and touch his hand. They invited him to their schools and to their churches, and they accepted with gratitude the Bibles he distributed among them. They asked him how he was able to run so far and for so long, and he told them, about the greatest power on earth. Jesus, and I haven't been able to stop shouting it since. And I know now that the driving force of my life is Jesus Christ, not running, not material things in the world, but the most important thing in my life is Jesus Christ. Even here in China, when I'm on this run, it's tough, but it's like from Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I say that all day long, and there's times that I'm running those mountains and I'm just saying, Lord, I look to you for the strength. And it's like Christ Jesus is right beside me, and he says, Stan, I know you're hurting. I know you're going up this mountain. I know it's tough, but let me tell you about a mountain I went up. It's called Calvary. Stan Cottrell's remarkable 2,125-mile run across China was not the beginning of friendship sports, but it was the crucible in which the basic concept was refined and tested and proved. Earlier, Stan had accomplished a number of extraordinary friendship runs. In 1982, he ran 45 miles a day for 80 days across Europe, from Edinburgh, Scotland to Gibraltar. A year later, a friendship run across the Dominican Republic and every day and every mile held opportunities for spreading the good news of the gospel. Currently, a host of other friendship runs are in the planning stages in the Orient and South Africa and other troubled lands where peace has eluded both the human spirit and national purpose. 
I firmly believe all of us have certain talents we can use to make this a better world. There are great preachers, philanthropists, and statesmen. My talent is running. It's what I do best. This is the gift I've been given. It's also a gift that seems to attract people, especially the young. Athletics is a powerful force in our society. I think we have an opportunity to apply that force as a tool to reach people for Christ. Although the most visible aspect of friendship sports is the outreach to people throughout the world, through long distance runs and faraway lands, the organization is having a powerful impact here at home. Stan Cottrell is being asked to appear and communicate his unique message in schools, churches, and civic clubs. He and his team of committed professionals are conducting seminars on marriage and the family, health, fitness, and interpersonal relationships. Wilderness and fitness retreats where young people can develop physical, spiritual, and interpersonal skills are being organized. Fitness days for individuals and families are being scheduled. Inspirational films are being produced and distributed. And through it all, a golden thread of truth has been woven. The truth that is the person and the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stan Cottrell runs on. Across China and Korea and Europe and Asia and South America and into the lives of the multitudes. Bringing light to millions who have only known darkness. Bringing peace to those who have only known pain. Bringing the light of life to the shadowed, lonely places of our world. But it's a very long way from the Galilee to the ends of the earth. Run with Stan Cottrell if you can. Support him with your prayers, your skills, or your gifts. Run with him if you can. And maybe, together, one mile at a time, we can bring peace and hope to nations and to the hearts of people down the street and around the world. It's a long way from the Galilee to the ends of the earth, but what a glorious journey it can be.